Hello and welcome to Recyclist. It's August 2nd, 2024. I'm your host, Eric Provost, and this is your weekly roundup of all the biggest news stories in the world of waste, gas, and energy presented by Diamond Scientific. First things first, and as always, let's take a quick look at the stock market and five stocks on the move this week within the world of waste, gas, and energy. As of August 2nd, 2024, Clean Energy Fuels Corps is currently trading at a value of $2.59 per share. Ranger Energy Services Incorporated is currently sitting at $12.01 per share. Evergy is up to $59.66 per share. Republic Services Incorporated has reached exactly $198 per share. And Waste Management is currently sitting at $206.25 per share. But first up in the news, NASA is currently searching for sustainable solutions for waste management during long-term missions to the moon, an initiative called Luna Recycle under the space agency's Centennial Challenges program aims to incentivize the design and development of recycling solutions for use on the surface of the moon and or inside pressurized lunar habitats. The program aims to reduce solid waste streams during long-duration lunar missions under the Artemis program, as well as to improve the sustainability of future future space exploration. And up next, the D.C. Circuit Court recently upheld modified EPA regulations on monitoring biogas-derived renewable fuel, rejecting the petition from the Coalition for Renewable Natural Gas meant to overturn the EPA's modifications to the Clean Air Act's renewable fuel program concerning tax-refundable renewable identification numbers. What the Coalition for Renewable Natural Gas took umbrage with was an aspect of the regulations that said the EPA's renewable fuel regulations, quote, shall contain compliance provisions applicable to refineries, blenders, distributors, and importers as appropriate to ensure that the requirements are met, end quote. The coalition argued that since this provision did not include producers, the EPA regulation was improperly applied to them. And speaking of those federal tax credits, a mid-year report from tax credit marketplace Crux showed that deal volume is expected to come in higher than previously expected at $20 to $25 billion this year. The Inflation Reduction Act of 2022 created a pathway for clean energy developers to sell their federal tax credits to third parties in exchange for cash, thereby accelerating investment. The first transactions under this new provision occurred in January 2023, and Crux has said that by the end of 2024, U.S. clean energy tax credit transactions would total $20 to $25 billion. And up next, in the realm of wastewater, researchers have announced a breakthrough in treatment that could significantly improve the process by using the power of the sun. Scientists at State Key Laboratory of Pollution Control and Resource Reuse in Shanghai have discovered a promising upgrade to this process that could reduce materials and energy waste and cut down on processing costs. This new technology would combine metal organic frameworks made of copper and cobalt with fortifying chitosan, creating a robust material that's not only able to withstand the extreme demands of industrial wastewater treatment, but can also self-clean by harnessing the power of the sun. And just a reminder, Recyclist is a registered trademark of Diamond Scientific, industry leaders in gas analysis, instrumentation, and solutions. Make sure to visit them online at diamondsci.com. That's diamondsci.com. Or you can even set up a personalized presentation by calling 321-223-7500. Now on with the news. And up next, Bright Renewables and Burke RNG have joined hands to develop four renewable natural gas projects to help mitigate methane emissions. These series of projects encompasses four initiatives across Michigan and New York, where Bright's proprietary deoxygenation system will be integrated with Bright Renewables' three-stage membrane upgrader. Beyond these projects, Bright will also provide service and maintenance at three existing sites, in Michigan and New York. 
Burke and Bright together currently operate six upgraders at three different locations and hope to collaborate on several more projects together to reach sustainable goals and remain front runners in the RNG industry. Bass Van Burkle, president and CEO of Burke RNG, said, quote, By working with Bright Renewables, we are helping to build out the renewable natural gas production industry. Our focus on realistic projects that benefit farmers goes hand in hand with Bright Renewables' commitment to innovation and standardization. End quote. And up next, we don't go to Europe very often on this show. However, the European Commission has approved a French proposal to provide 1.5 billion euros in government assistance for renewable natural gas projects throughout the country. The package caters to new installations with an expected annual biomethane production capacity of over 25 gigawatt hours a year. Beneficiaries will be selected through competitive bidding. France has set targets of raising the share of renewable gases in national natural gas consumption by 10% by 2030 and increasing biogas output to 24 to 32 terawatt hours per year by 2028. The government has allotted 9.7 billion euros under the multi-annual energy plan to support methanization. And now moving to Pennsylvania, the state's ambition to launch a first-in-the-country industrial decarbonization program scored a $396 million grant recently from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. The money will be used to kickstart its so-called RISE PA program, which stands for Reducing Industrial Sector Emissions in Pennsylvania, and is meant to take on the biggest sources of carbon emissions in the state. Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro even said, quote, we've got big plans for that money and we're ready to go, end quote. And lastly, Denali, a recycler of organic materials, announced a collaboration with Walmart recently to roll out innovative depackaging services that can help improve the food waste recycling process at Walmart and Sam's Club locations nationwide. The innovative depackaging technology aims to help drive operational efficiencies for Walmart Enterprise Associates and, based on early testing, has increased the volume of potentially reusable organic content recovered from from participating locations by more than 60% and reduced their compactor trash by an estimated 12%. As of today, the program has launched in over 1,400 Walmart and Sam's Club locations in more than 16 markets across the country, including Houston, Dallas, Philadelphia, D.C., Indianapolis, Phoenix, and cities across New Hampshire, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, and Connecticut, with rollout to continue nationwide into 2025. And that will do it for your August 2nd, 2024 News Roundup, brought to you by Recyclist, a registered trademark of Diamond Scientific. I've been your host, Eric Provost, and we'll see you back here next week for another brand new episode of Recyclist. Thank you.